All right, guys, here we go. Man, I'm going to tell you right now. So, Cyberpunk has been a really good game, and I've been wanting to play it more, but I've also been kind of taking my time with it. Um, I <laughs> I just woke up from a nap, by the way. It's 12.08 in the morning. Is that considered a nap if you sleep for longer than, like, an hour? I don't know. I don't take naps often, so when I do, I try to, like, cherish those moments. But I was like, man, I'm about to record, and I know I'm going to sound probably weird. I don't know. So, uh, you guys are amazing. Thanks for all like support. If you want more of this game quickly, you know what to do. And, yes, I am on the menu. I just sometimes sit here. <laughs> so, awesome. You guys uh, just been, god, the support on this game in general is still, like, I think part one is the most liked video I've ever had on my channel. In such a short amount of time, too, which is insane. So, uh, you guys are awesome. Love you all. Let's get this. All right, guys. Here we go. I'm at, so, first off, I am recording this on a... Well, not, I'm, not, I'm not recording it with the keyboard, but I have a brand new keyboard that I'm actually using for this video. The escape button's a lot closer to some of the other stuff now. It's uh, considered a 60%, but it doesn't sound near as loud, which I really like. So, if I miss some of the buttons here and there, that's probably why. All right, journal-wise. Here's the thing. We have some stuff. We did the two side mission, Mama Wells. Um, is there anything else I really want to do at this very moment? These other ones just say... Hmm. I, I've done the two that I really wanted to do. So I'm going to just do this for now. If other ones pop up for those same characters, I'll probably keep going with those. Uh, let me go ahead and just... Oh, yeah. I almost... See, that's what's crazy. The keys are so close together on this. Wait, is my bike over here, really? What? Oh, I just saw. So as I'm recording this, obviously there's like a delay in my videos from when you see them. Uh, but I just saw where CD Projekt Red is refunding people who got the PS4 version. Like, they're, they're taking it off the store and everything, which is, is insane to me. I'm kind of documenting that whole thing in this series when I'm playing it. Because it's nice to like look back and see the progress. If that man, I'm gonna tell you. Oh wait, she's calling me. Hey, do you have a moment? You need to talk. I need a longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. Oh yes, let's way. go. Phew, thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better. To... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh huh. See you soon. Yo, okay. Was about to do the main mission, but here we go, man. This is what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, wait. Yeah, this is it right here. The Great Nomad Saga continues. I wonder how far away. It's probably all the way back there, right? 4.2 away. It's gonna take a minute, but might as well kind of get used to this keyboard a little bit. So we'll drive for a minute. I might not drive the entire time. I could fast travel just a little bit, but... Apparently, there's different dialogues you can get if you do certain missions. Oh, that was actually my... Hold on. That's my chance right there. Hold on. Yo, if this isn't like a blessing in disguise, I don't know what is. Fucking hell. All right, here we go. Okay, we're... See, we're all the way back over there. There it is. How convenient. Yo, I love fast travel points in this game. They're right where they need to be. Not any further. I'll do any missions with her and Judy. All the other ones I might wait to do. Unless they're just absolutely important. This is very important to me. Because I actually care about this character a lot. So, Panam is uh, probably my favorite character in the game. Are we preparing for a visit? V, you're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance of what? Rotting up the job we came Get here- Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No, this discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. 
I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Being unusually quiet. What's up? I see no point in arguing with Saul. We can't win. So, giving up? Of course not. We'll take the Basilisk ourselves, then wait for Saul to admit we were right. Either that, or the boot is out of the family. What's this Basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess. Whole thing's your idea. How did you know? Oh, Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull. Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes. A craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back, and drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Hmm. Thought you and Saul were getting along? Yeah. Thought you and Saul agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You want to fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life, yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. Um, Why Saul well got asking. his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. You guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. And you plan to grab the basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. Interesting. I'm happy this mission popped back up. I wonder if there's gonna be like another one with like Judy, maybe. Let me grab all this. Is it always nighttime during her missions? So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Hmm, yep. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? Wish I were on the road. We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Mmm. Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn short, sweet. Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know. But you guys. A few years back, nobody would have given Corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? I'm going with. Riding with you. 100%. Excellent, let's get going. So apparently you can have like a romance interest with her. I think I heard a little shake Judy. in that voice. I want to say not. Rogue uh, as well, on. maybe? That's at least what I've heard. Screw you. I just, I like her uh, since she's like the nomad, kind of like the character I picked, you know? Militech won't it's kind of cool. Thing. It's are super dark, man. What's going on? Me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked.
I'll do as many missions that pop up for her and Judy as... Wait, what? Let's go. Oh, there we go. That was kind of strange. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Song has no wish to see us there anyway. But better to make a good second impression on the biotechnica suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. Sounds like she's like coming through a radio, but she's sitting next to me. It's kind of strange. I don't know. And Raffins, what about them? You expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning, of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Had a hard time leaving my family, too. I was never completely alone, either. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. Rest in peace, Jackie, man. That's an unfortunate scenario that happened. I don't know if it's, like, necessary. Like, I could have just drove here myself, but... Arrived. Yeah, I don't know if you get the dialogue. But I wonder, since it's, like, a radio-type conversation now, even though I'm sitting next to her, if that would have been the same thing. Never know! Oh, look at this car. I like it so much. That is so sick. Just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Saul would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Hmm. Seems to be a lot of abandoned stations around. This one belonged to a corporation that ran a cement factory. They use it as their reloading point. They didn't take the train engine when they left? The engine's been here going on 40 years, since the Blackwall days. For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear, like submarines do. All the weirder they left it behind. Corpse. They probably listed it in the spreadsheet as cost optimization. It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Pan Am, let's go. I feel like this whole plan's gonna backfire, though. Oh, I haven't- hold on. Hold on one second, let me check out my character. Oh, look at my weight. I should probably sell some stuff next chance I get to. Uh, get back in the city or whatever. That was quick. I don't know if there's like, it really matters until... Yeah, I don't think it really matters until like your weight's over the actual limit, then you walk slower. I'm pretty sure There's I've never actually is, had man. that happen. Need to sell all my junk too. Got too much of it, it seems like. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. They still haven't said music safe in this game yet, so I'm just erring at the side of caution. Talk to the nomads is optional. I've always been fond hmm. of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off in a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Sometimes I walk super fast, other times it's super slow. I don't know, it's just like okay, random. Here we are. Yeah, see how it seems like I'm doing what the are we choppiness. Looking for? Cards. Cards. What cards? Oh, 
Would you help me look? Sure thing. Well, I'll find it. Nothing here. I'm gonna take everything else, though. Wait, wait. Uh, what? Yeah, this keyboard's so much more Nothing quiet. Here. Looking for punch cards, but all I'm finding is those other things. Hold on. Wait, wait. this might be it. No? Why can't I pick this up? Uh, what? I guess it's just like papers we've seen. Okay, hold on. Punch card, we got it. Well, well, well. So I wonder if I should just like get rid of all my stuff now, like dis dismantle it or uh, disassemble. No, oh, whatever. Got something. Good job. Here goes nothing, man. Here goes nothing. Yo, it's crazy. He said the same thing. It worked. Come look. Little engine that could. We saw Johnny for like a split hey, second. I wanted to speak with you. Uh oh, hold on. Standby window seems happier here. Oh yeah, that's true. You're happier out here. You can smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk. Get a dressing down from Saul, and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? Yeah. Because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shit in your pants. Dear God. So you can see it too. Uh, because it's about the family not saw. What did you want to talk about? I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Oh, uh, hold on. Not doing it for- want to see how it plays out. No, it's important to you. It's probably the best one here. Because it's important to you. But, is that all? I- Sorry. That sounded worse than I intended. Listen, V, I... I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. Speaking of my feelings and so forth. And I would not want to cut this up. Uh, I guess you gotta start somewhere. So far, so good. Yeah, I like that. Well, that's a start. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh. Noticed. I know. But I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Hmm. Why is it different with me, huh? Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Yo, let's be more than friends. Hold on. Touch your hands next time. Try following that impulse. Try following the impulse next time. I got shot down last time, so I don't know. Okay. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right. Let's rejoin the others. That's kind of like I was hoping to make some kind of like progress towards that. I didn't know if this mission would give us like that option or not. Anyways, here we go. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. It's like I'll be walking slow. 
And all of a sudden, I'll catch up real fast and do like it's almost like I'll do like a sprint. Like that right there. That's so strange. Anyways, so far this new new keyboard's uh pretty good. I don't never had one this small before. Sixty percent keyboard. The buttons are so close together. It's a little weird though, cause I'm scared to press the wrong button, cause they are a little close. I just gotta get used to it. It's like a muscle memory type thing. What is that? All right. So after this mission, I'll get back to the main story. I have been doing a lot of side stuff, but you know, it's stuff I really want to do, cause I know it affects the ending from what I was told. We could still sit your ass down a minute, honey, and breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. Are we good? Oh wait, let me sit down. Where's the option? Why is the option not there? Hold on. Hurry up and sit. Worried about something. Yeah, let's do that. Hurry up and wait then. Talk to the veterans by the campfire. You're acting spooked. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Hmm. Uh, was it someone I know? New. No. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. All right, Nomad, let's see. We got a lot of options here. Two of them are drink. Uh, let's do this one first. Saul was right about Snake Nation. You should remain independent. Otherwise, you could end up like... Like the backers. <laughs> we'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. And that's why we're here today. Scorpion would be proud. Hmm. Let's go ahead and just... You don't talk about the war much. Hmm. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. And it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm-hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. All right, try. Okay, they all try to get some shut eye. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Scooch closer. Getting. Oh. Gotten kind of cold. I'll see. Can tell you won't begin. V? Hmm. Did you just doze off? Kind of cold out here. Uh oh. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shut eye with me. I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Look at the stars. Uh, yeah. You do? Oh, dear. That means there's some major leak. Good night, B. 